What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing Boom Burst Toxicity in Ranked Regulation F. Now, Toxicity, very, very cool Generation 8 Pokemon, is rocking out with this Trick Room team today. It has Punk Rock as its ability, so sound-based moves do get a damage boost. On top of that, we got the Throat Spray, so whenever we use a sound-based move, we are going to get a plus one special attack boost. The Toxicity pairs up really well with a Ranguru, because the whole plan of the Today's video is to potentially just lead them both, protect Toxicity, pop Trick Room, and then go Boom Burst, Instruct, Boom Burst again. Big time damage, crazy strong damage. On top of that, we got Normal Terra, making it do even more damage, and a Rankaroo has Telepathy as its ability, so it will take no damage from ally moves. Rangaroo can also pair up with Ursaluna because Ursaluna can then freely EQ without hitting ally Pokemon. And Ursaluna also pairs up with Cresselia over here because it has Levitate. And Ursaluna can EQ freely from there. So a lot of team synergy here. You cannot really go wrong with any of the Pokemon paired up next to each other. But other Pokemon on today's team is going to be Torkoal and Walking Wake. Those two Pokemon also pair up with each other as well. Torkoal sets the sun, Walking Wake gets the Protosynthesis boost, making it super fast, and doing big time damage in the sun. So everybody on this team really thrives together, and Trick Room really helps out everybody besides Walking Wake, but you always need a Pokemon that doesn't thrive in Trick Room on a Trick Room team. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing Toxicity in Regulation F. Super excited to be hopping into match number one, but I want to give a huge shout out to Poke Sports and their community. Found this team over on their page, so I gotta give them a shout out. Link is down in the description below. Definitely go check them out. They do amazing work on their channel, making a bunch of Regulation F content. Like I said, it's really good content. So go check it out. But uh, we're going up against a Golem team here in match number one. So funny because they just used Golem a couple days ago, but this is not the exact same team that we used. They got Titar, they got Golem, they got Indeedee, Iron Crown, Gouging Fire, and Primarina. Actually, is this the same team that I used? I remember Gouging Fire and Primarina, but I don't remember Iron Crown. I don't. It might be the same team. How many Golem teams are there? Let's be honest here. But I could go Boom Burst Toxicity. That is an option here. But they also have the option of maybe going into the weather guys we don't we don't like the weather guys we really don't we really don't but you know what screw it we're going to talk to seat we're going orangaroo we're looking to rock out with them here in match number one and then in the back end we might just want to go hard trick with like ursaluna and torkoal or like ursaluna and cresselia let me see cresselia's moves yeah you got lunar blessing you got helping hand that could work out really well for us it could titar and golem i am scared of so maybe do i just bring in the turtle you know what, screw it. We're gonna go Turtle. We're gonna go Turtle and Ursaluna. So we're gonna Heavy Trick Room here. Kinda don't want them to lead Golem and, and uh, what is that, Titar? That would be a little bit of a problem. So we're kinda hoping they would lead like a different Pokemon, maybe like the Psychic Spam. That could work out well for us. I wouldn't mind that too much at all. So let's see, no Golem, no Titar here. We would love it. It's gonna go in DD Primarina, which I don't mind. I simply do not mind. Because from here, I get to go into U2. And do we think you're potentially imprisoning? You might. You might. And in that case, I'm just going to normal Terra Boom Burst here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Normal Terra right here, right now. That's the plan. And then go for a nice lovely Trick Room. So we're going to go for a Trick Room here. If you imprison Trick Room or try to cancel out my Trick Room, I'm still Boom Bursting anyway. I just think we're in a safe spot where I don't have to protect Toxicity. I can straight up just attack and get some turns out here. The Boom Burst is going to pop here, do semi-decent damage with this normal Terra, Punk Rock boost, but next turn we can do even more damage when we get our Throat Spray boost in. But he ends up going for a Follow Me, that's totally fine. I don't mind that one bit. I do not mind that. Hyper Boy is going to fly through here. That's totally fine, because look how much we soak. And this is actually a really solid turn for us. Now this match, looking pretty well for us, because I can start instructing after this and just ripping damage. So normal Terra, Boom Burst coming out here. Telepathy allows a Rangaroo to take no damage. And that's some big time damage. So we have the health there. We get our throat straight pop. I love it. I love it. I love it. On top of that, Trick Room is here. We got Trick Room out and about. A Rangaroo. So now Instruct could come out here. We could just double Boom Burst, which is probably a safe bet, right? But I just want to see something. Real quick. I just want to check out speeds. What you got? 79 and 58. So how does Instruct work? I never really use it. Now this Pokemon is slower. 
So if I were to instruct, does that move go last? I'm definitely gonna try it. We're gonna go boom burst here again and instruct. Does this go last? The target, wait, the user instructs the target to reuse the move last used by the target. Okay, so let's just give it a try. Again, I don't use instruct too much, but it just, yeah, see, instruct's gonna come out here first. Now we use boom burst last turn. So is it still gonna fly? It is, cool. Cool. So we get to instruct you and then I get to boom burst again, right? So it makes sense. So I can just keep doing that. I can keep doing that. If they end up bringing out Golem, we could take the weather away and just protect, which could be a good option, but a double boom burst would be solid. Yeah, see, I can just double boom burst with instruct. That is so fun. We'd love it. We'd love it. So as long as we don't have double rock Pokemon here, we should be able just to win this match, no problem with boom burst here, right? And there's double rock Pokemon. Of course, every time I say something, they got it. So T-Tar's gonna come out here. Um, do I... It's gonna be T-Tar gouging fire. I might still just double boom burst. I might still just do that. I could overdrive. I could definitely overdrive. Or I can just boom burst. And you know what? I'm just gonna double boom burst. You give me no reason not to just double boom burst. Let's do it. Burning Bulwark gonna come out here. That's fine. Not that big of a deal. I don't really see T-Tar picking up KO onto Toxicity. Maybe onto a Rangaroo with a Dark move. But let's see how much damage this boom burst can do. I love the position that we're sitting. I do love it. I get that you have Sandstorm out here, but I have Torkoal and Ursaluna in the back end. Let's see. So Boom Burst flying here. How much damage? Not bad. Not bad on Titar. That's going to half it. It's going to half it on the second shot. You're going to low kick me. I survived that. That's bad news for you. That's real bad news for you, me survive that. Because now I get to do this again. <laughs> Yo, this combo is insane. This combo is insane. Get on out of here, man. Why is Pokemon allowing this? Half in damage onto T-Tar, which is gorgeous. Guess what we're going to do here, guys? I don't think they have any first turn priority. They could try to go for the double protect, which would be kind of smart. Probably they're in their best interest, but we still have two turns left in Jerkum. Oh, yeah. Wrap this one up. Wrap this one up all day. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap this one up. We're gonna see a Terra type come out here, probably from Gouging Fire. Would be surprised to see T-Tar. It is T-Tar. Taking it away, it's always oh, going ghost. Okay, you should've probably did that turn one. You definitely should've did that turn one. That was kind of, kind of stupid of you, I ain't gonna lie. And the double burning bulwark misses. I would've went for the same thing there. Instruct gonna come out here. We're not gonna do any damage to the T-Tar here, but I will get one turn left in Trick Room and I just get to bring out Torko after this. Because Toxicity probably dies out here, right? So I'll take a nice Boom Burst plus one into the Gouging Fire. We love it. And our Ranguru is pretty much at full health. Wow, that's some damage on you. Low kick on a fly. That's fine. It is crazy how T-Tar is a bit slower than Toxicity, but that works out fine. The big time damage on the Gouging Fire. One more turn of Buffets will actually KO it. And I just get to bring out Torkoal. This game's over. Unless T-Tar protects. But if T-Tar protects... Then I'm just going to set up another trick room. We're sitting in such a good position, yo. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Toxtra City Boom Burst, baby. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's way too easy. I didn't expect it to work that well, especially in match number one. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Let's go. You guys are members to the Gene channel. Let me get a LeBron James. Come on, man. That's too easy emote in the comment section down below. Love to see it. But I'm just going to pop an eruption here. Um, I could instruct. Um, yeah, and I am going to instruct erupt. It's it's pretty. It's, it's a simple game here. It's a simple game with a Rangaroo and Shirk Room. Just instruct the other Pokemon here. So eruption is going to fly through here. This will be a double KO. And that is going to be the match. So 1-0 to get things started. Instruction of Rangaroo alongside with Toxicity. Absolutely dominating here. Moving on to match number two. And we're going up against a really wild gimmicky team. Hisumi Guja, Regular Moltres, Meowth Karada, Vaporeon, Iron Thorns, and more Pekka. Come on, this team looks awesome. I definitely want to go into Throat Spray Boom Burst again. Kind of want to have some fun with that. So you know what? We're doing that again. I'm not playing around. That's exactly what we're doing. So I'm going to go into both of these guys um, in the back end. We're just going to go Turtle alongside with uh, Walking Wake. Pretty simple matchup here. Hopefully we can just dominate and win this no problem. 
The Pokemon that I am a little worried about is going to be the Hisui Gudra. Maybe I should have brought Ursa Luna Bear just for that, but I feel like if we can go Boom Bursting again, that'd be pretty awesome. Yo, that's a sick picture. The profile picture they had is just Garchomp soaring through the sky. That's so sweet. Let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be these two. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm ready to Boom Burst. I'm ready to do that. Um, protect could be pretty good for us this turn. I could normal Terra Boom Burst, but I, I, again, I just think Protect is going to be our best play. So I'm just going to go for a nice little Protect. I am just going to pop a Trick Room, and we'll see how this one plays out here. Now, Iron Thorns, a little bit on the weird side, considering it is Electric and Rock. A pretty decent counter to my Toxtricity here. I'm going to end up faking out my Orangulu, which is kind of tough, and he's going to taunt me. We don't like that, even though we are Mental Herb. We can't pop Trick Room either. But I'm going to flinch. So, I mean, they could just do that again. That's looking a little tough. So, maybe I might just swap. This thing's going into dark. Hangry. We don't like that. Um, <laughs> I could Boom Burst, but I don't know if Boom Burst is really going to do much. I could just Boom Burst just to pop Throat Spray and just protect. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because I could definitely see him taunting me again this turn. So if I could Boom Burst, maybe just Sludge Bomb that Iron Thorns. Yeah, this is solid protect. This is solid protect. We like this protect. We like this protect. And he goes for Taunt again. So this was a good protect on our end. And we're able to Boom Burst, pop the Throat Spray, start getting after it. So I might... I might just have to throw a Slice Rangler here. I know they're going to Taunt me again, which is kind of annoying. But Boom Burst picking up some big time damage. We like that damage. Um, I could swap a Rangaroo, maybe just into Torkoal, for the moment being. Dude, I love Morpeko. <laughs> He's so cool, man. He's such a cool Pokemon. He's such a cool Pokemon. But th to be honest, he kind of just counters me really hard. I can't instruct that this. What's my play here? What is my play? So I got to swap into the Turtle or something. I have to swap. I have to swap. They're going to taunt me. They're going to taunt me. So, you know what? We're just going to swap into the turtle here. And I'm just going to overdrive here just to pick up a KO. I'll swap. Oh, yeah, I, got, I have to because I need tricking for later. I, I need tricking for later. So, Aurora Wheel is back to an electric move. This is actually low-key a decent counter to my team. At least to that lead right there. Endeavor gonna come out here. That's tough news. You got Endeavor. You really got Endeavor. And now you just KO me with Pin Missile. That honestly sucks, man. Endeavor on the more Peko. How am I supposed to beat this thing? At least I got the sun out. Now we can bring out Walking Wake. Okay. Alright, so Walking Wake looking like gonna, it's gonna have to be the Pokemon to get the work, some work done. Oh my god, yo. More P.E.K.K.A. with Endeavor. That's great. But at least I got the sun out. I do sacrifice my Torkoal. I think that's fine. It's okay, I guess. But I get to bring out Walking Wake in the sun of Pro Synthesis. Really solid for us. They're now bringing out Meowskarat. They still have Terror. They can Terrasalize here whenever they please. And we're going to bring out the boy. This Pokemon's so good. So, Meowskarat, it doesn't learn Fake Out. I don't think it does. But Flower Trick, we know that's a scary little move right there. Um, We still have Terror, Steel... Not bad for our terror type. Um, hmm. I think overdrive is just going to be our play. Actually, is it? It's not very effective on both. I could just sludge bomb you, but you could be sash, which we don't like. And you know what? We're just going to protect Walking Wake. We're going to make, we're going to pose it as a threat. They're going to look at it. They're going to make, oh my God, Walking Wake's on the field with pro synthesis. We have to take that out. But instead, I'm just going to protect it, right? There's no way Miascarada goes after my... Toxicity. It's got to go after my walking away. So they end up hard swapping here. They're going to go into Vaporeon. And I just end up protecting this guy. I say, yo, you're getting protected. Let's slow this one down. Miyazakarada is going to go for a play rough. Look at that. All day. Easy protect reads. Play rough right into the walking away slot. It's now a fairy type. So it's still going to be weak to Sludge Bomb, which is huge. And we're going to see if it's Focus Ash or not. It's not. Cool. Awesome. Easy KO. Easy KO. Now I can sit here and overdrive. They do have Terra. They might have to use Terra. 
And Walking Wake's looking pretty good in this situation, right? They're forced to bring back out Iron Thorns. I still have a Ranguru in the back end. I could end up swapping somebody for a Ranguru, but I like where we're sitting. So I'm going to go Overdrive here. I'm just going to go for a Hydro Steam over into this slot. Look to get rid of that thing. So Vaporeon, rather annoying. Not going to sit here and lie. Pretty bulky Pokemon, but again, I think we should be fine. They're forced to Terrasalize here. They're forced to Terrasalize. So they did actually counter me really well with my Boom Burst combo, but Walking Wake after I got off the Sun was just such a solid Pokemon up against their Pokemon. So they end up, end up Terrasalizing the Iron Boots, which is really odd. Going into Bug, looking to probably just pin Missile away. Big time damage with it. But Hydro Steam is going to chunk up some damage into him and just KO it. So pretty much GG's, right? Because Overdrive is going to be super effective into Vaporeon. It's stab. It's super effective. Plus, on top of that, we already got a third spray boost. It should be 2-0. We're going to be 2-0, aren't we? Plus, Vaporeon is not really known for doing big-time damage. It does set the rain, though. Just pop a little bit of rain action. But Overdrive again, I think it KOs all day. It does not. Bringing him down the red. Vaporeon real bulky. Especially, especially special defensively. Very bulky. So it's going to have leftovers, but I ain't another overdrive. We're going to send it that way. And then on top of that, we're throwing meteors from the sky. Draco Meteor coming out here. They end up just canceling. 2-0. and oh. Let's go. Moving on to our final match. We're going up against Articuno and Aloha Ninetales. So Snow is going to be their plan here. I got to bring Torkoal here in the final match. But also, they have Suing Arcanine, Ogre Pond, Landorus, and Rage Bolt. I feel like I've versed this team before, but we're 2 0. Would love to go 3 0, grab ourselves a perfect record. We are just killing it in Regulation F right now. But, um, Toxicity and a rank could be our lead again. I don't mind it. They could intimidate me. They don't have any fake out users, which is pretty good. But I like these Pokemon right here alongside with the Turtle and Walking. Seems pretty nice for us. So, that's going to be a squad. Lock it in, lock it down. We're looking to Boom Burst here again in match number three. So Toxtra, she's been really powerful in today's video. Really, really powerful. Overdrive killed it in the last match. First match was just absurd in Struck Boom Burst, which I kind of want to do again. I kind of want to do it again, right? I'm hoping to do it again. Even though I don't really want to do that because I feel bad for our opponent just getting Boom Bursted and Destructed. It's kind of like helping hand expanding force. But on the other side... I'm making content. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I want to have some fun with this one. Showcase some weird wacky combos, such as a Spoon Burst combo. I love it. I am loving it. But I wonder who they're going to lead, which is probably going to be Snow Combo, right? And if it is, we might be forced to hard swap turn one. I'm not too sure because we can't really allow them to set up a war. War is just a problem. And yeah, they are going to go into that. Now I could just hard swap or I can just say screw it and maybe just attack them. And I think that's going to be our play. It's to just say screw it and attack it. Boom burst, trick room. That's the play. Because they might even hard swap Ninetales. Think we're hard swapping it into Torkoal. That is an option. That is an option. And I am scared of the ground move, so I am forced to terrestrialize my, my toxicity. Who looks so sick. Look at it. Look at his face, yo. <laughs> Look at his face. So... He's going to end up terrestrializing probably the Lando? Yeah, Lando. Into Steel. We don't like that. We just don't like it. It's just such a perfect terror type. I was hoping it was Poison. And I terrestrialize into Normal. And I'm kind of upset they didn't swap out the Ninetales. So they're probably going to set up an Aurora Bell, which is a big time problem. But at least we get off Trick Room. And I can eventually just erupt through a lot of these Pokemon. I like it. I like it so well. Oh, help in hand. Oh, 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 you better not KO me here. You better not KO me here. Earth power. No, you survived that. You survived that. Okay, I was going to say, you survived that. This actually works out perfectly fine because now you don't get off. Now you don't get off uh, a war bell. Your best bet was going for a war bell. Now you're not allowed to have it. And honestly, double boom burst KOs. We love it. We're instructing boom burst again. I love this combo. I love this combo. Oh my lord. This is so much fun. Why can't every match be this easy? Guess what, guys? You can, you're not going to guess what we're going to be doing next. Instruct Boom Burst on its way. Hopefully they just cancel battle. They should know what's coming. They should know what's coming. Instruct Boom Burst. I love it. I love it. I'm so surprised they didn't go for Warville. Warville, I think, needed 
to be the play there for them. It needed to be the play. So yeah, Helping Hand Earth Power was never KO on us, unless you had maybe Ground Terra. And in that case, we might have still eaten it up on like low red HP. But from here, it's just like, nah, dude, you're done. You're done. You're done. It's just game. It's over. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you. Boom Burst plus one. With the normal Terra. With Punk Rock ability. Bye-bye. This thing lives on one, but guess what? We got another one coming. You thought you thought you survived the boom burst? Nah, nah. We got another one coming. We have another one coming. We have another one coming. It's hard enough to survive boom burst in one turn because I think it's like base one thirty. But to survive two, it's almost impossible. Two at plus one, it's just absurd. And now these this guy doesn't have Terra anymore. I don't think he was really rocking any ghost type Pokemon. So I think we could just do this again and finish this one off. Unless you have first turn priority. There's no first turn priority there. And there is E speed there. There is E speed there. But I'm full HP. I'm full HP. Thanks for playing. Actually, you're rock type. You could potentially soak. But we're just going to do this. And then do this again. You could maybe just E speed and KO my Oranguru. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. E speed into the Oranguru. Spiky shield the Ogre Pond. It does work. It does work, but they don't spike each other. Okay. At least speed helping out. Okay, they definitely have a shot here. But after this, I get to bring out the Torkoal. The Torks. Boomer is still flying here. Just KO and Ogre Pond. Okay, you stand no chance. Not a singular chance. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thanks for playing. Thanks for versing me today. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad. But hey, wins are wins. 3-0 perfect record. We're spamming more boom bursts here. Screw it. We're going for Earth Power. You don't have Terra. But they're just going to cancel anyway. There it is. 3-0. Love it. We have been so toxic as recently. No pun intended with toxicity there. But I've been using Explosion Regilecki, Choice Specs Typhlosion, and now we're using Boom Burst Instruct Toxicity. I've been real toxic and I just want to apologize, but hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content. We went 3-0 just by spamming moves today. Definitely a cool combo that you don't get to see too much on the ranked ladder. That's why when I saw this team, I was like, I gotta try it out. It's a cool gimmicky team. Hopefully you guys still did enjoy today's video. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.